This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're working on the feeling of where she should be positioned in the front, which basically is we want Trudy to be able to see between Annie's ears. That's it. So she should be able to, you should be able to see between her ears, especially on the corners. And you can do either a counter flex or a flex, and you, it makes you ride the shoulders different. Annie is going to be competing in training level this year. That's right. Can you see between her ears? And we're not asking her to drop her nose or anything right now. We're just focusing on, can you see between the ears? Yep, and you can do a counter flex when you feel the need. Whenever you do a circle to the right, she should be. Can you see between her ears? It's all right. She's wondering what you're doing. Because all of a sudden, you're riding her neck and shoulders different, aren't you? That's it. Add some 20-meter circles. Can you see between her ears? Make it a figure eight. That's all right. Yeah, she's balking. So did Darian, and he lives here. <laughs> That's it. See between her ears, change directions. See between her ears. So that's all we're asking her to do right now is just to see between Annie's ears. And later on we'll ask for a little bit more connection and balance and that type of thing. But right now I just want the rider, like when you practice this the first times, you just see if you can see between the ears. That tells you when the horse's neck is straight and when they're turning from their pole and using their shoulders. Good! Does it make you ride your circles any different? Good, now start serpentines. You'll notice she's going on the aids easier with this concept, isn't she? Yes. That's it. Can you see between her ears? Yes. Good. That's right. Keep seeing between her ears. That's where you need more right rein and leg. And this is new for Annie. And I think she's been ridden, we've ridden her in contact now for this might be our eighth or ninth time where we've actually asked her to stay in connection, which is because it's new to her. Good. Can you see between her ears? Uh, yeah, the head sometimes bobbles around a bit. It should bobble around at first. So she said that her head bobs around a little bit, and it should at this level. If your horse is bobbling their head, they should be at this level because they really don't know how to balance to be able to do this. So by looking between the ears, it brings the horse's shoulders over so the horse is balanced on their inside hind. Easier to keep her on the inside hind, isn't it? Now I add a full circle on the end of every serpentine. And all you're going to do is have her outside ear look in the direction she's going, but only enough to where you can see between her ears. Good, Trudy. That's it. That's it. Now remember, every time you rise to go deeper into your lower leg, now you're going to add, start asking her to pick up her seat underneath of you. Pick up her back. So you're going to add half halt, breathing in, feeling your chest come up, letting it go back through your shoulder blades, melting your seat into your lower legs and your seat bones. So melt, 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 melt into your seat, into your lower legs, into your lower legs, into your lower legs. Yep. So a part of your half haul. Now your posting is a little quick. You're falling back on your rump as you're doing this. So just pretend you can post by rolling back on your seat. It's going to be hard because you're working on so much at one time. So let's just do the sitting two, rising one. Look in between her ears, sit two, rise one, so you can feel the rhythm of her trot. That's right. Look between her ears, sit two, rise one. And what it'll do is it'll help you to slow down your posting so you're not just posting up and down, all right? Oh, nothing like making you both work at the same time, right? I don't care if you're on the right diagonal right now. Look between her. Look be well, it's a lot to think about. Remember, you're going to add the full circle at the end of the serpentine now. I'll, I'll overwhelm you, okay? Good. Look between her ears. Sit two, rise one, full circle. Look between her ears. If you can't see between her ears, you need to add, supple her on the outside rein and leg, full circle. Sit two, rise one. It'll help you with your posting trot. That's right. Look between her ears. Good. Yes. This time you're going to circle the other way. 
Make your circle 10 meters instead of 20 meters. 10 meter circle to the left, look between her ears, sit two, rise one. Changes the way you're posting the trot too, doesn't it? So what this is gonna do is get your half halts so they're more centered. Good. Can you see between her ears? Good. Oh, watch out, there's gremlins over there. Good, sit two, rise one. And what the sitting two rising one does is it'll help Trudy stay centered over her leg in her seat. The tendency is on, with most people on a green horse is they start posting too fast and popping in and out of the saddle instead of softly sitting in and, and roll, rolling in and out of the saddle with her thighs. Good, good. Wants to keep, I can't keep the two one, two one all the time. My body automatically wants to keep Go over to the other one. That's right. What are you feeling in the difference in your circles? By looking between her ears. Better, but I still, you know, I feel like she's still poking her head up, and a lot of times she's throwing herself to the outside. Right, which she should be doing because she's only we've only ridden in her connection. I think it's this is the eighth or ninth time. So at this level, we expect her not to stay consistent, right? Well, I, that was a good answer though, because most people are going to think their horses said she should stay consistent, right? Yeah, but that was that was perfect because reality is is that it doesn't happen. Here we are the eighth time connecting her and she's still unsteady, but that's where they are. Any horse. I think she's doing good that she came right to the connection. That's right, she did. Well like I said, Darian got pretty squirrely at that end and he lives here. Alright, let her have a walk break. Very nice, Trudy.